Hi ocean lovers! I'm very happy to make this new video for you where I will talk about the five questions that you always wanted to ask a marine mammal researcher. So the first question is what and where did you study to become marine biologist? So you have to know that I have been studying biology in Brussels. I have a master degree in biodiversity and ecosystems, so I didn't study specifically marine biology. Science is actually using a specific protocol, so it doesn't really matter if you're studying marine biology or any other type of biology. The most important is that you understand that research is always according to a standard protocol. The only thing that will change really is your field methods or the lab, um, the lab will work. For me personally, I really love it because when I have my data from the field, I also enjoy so much to see the results and that makes it for me really exciting. I know that most of the people I've been working with because I have a training program with my organization, I have noticed that many people really like the field work but when they have to work on the computer, they're a bit less enthusiastic about it. So you have to be conscious that being a biologist in general includes a lot of computer work. So the third question that is often asked is how did I develop my scientific career in whale research? So I must admit that it's really, really difficult because everyone wants to work with dolphins and whales and we all dream of that. But the reality is that there is not a lot of jobs and uh, it's highly competitive. The secret is actually to do a lot of volunteering and internships. So in the volunteering world, when you're working in the whale research, sometimes it's asked to pay a participation. What you have to pay is that there's a lot of small nonprofit organizations that doesn't have access to a lot of fundings and therefore the volunteers or interns are participating financially to support the project. Sometimes we forget that whale and dolphin research is, is very expensive. So therefore, small organizations uh, ask a participation fee. Now, there are other organizations that are bigger, they have much more fundings, and they can offer um, internships without paying you, but uh, without you paying them. So that's up to you, up to your finances, but I strongly suggest to do volunteering and internships before trying to get tr trying to get a job because it's so competitive and honestly also it gives you a good a good idea of what the research is because sometimes we have like a dream about it but we don't even know if we are getting seasick on the boat for example so that would be my recommendation to start a career in real research the fourth question is where can you do an internship on marine mammal research so I have often this question, but it's not that easy to answer. It all depends, as I said a little bit in my previous question, about your finances. Are you able to financially support yourself to do a volunteer or internship uh, experience? Now, of course, you can always choose their organization asking a lot of money, others asking just the money that they need to cover uh, the accommodation, food expenses, and so on. Uh, others uh, don't ask any money, but you have to, to look for your own accommodation and food. So this is a bit tricky. I would recommend you use Google and you write whale uh, internship, whale volunteering program and so on. So you can find the different, um, uh, the different options that you can have for, for this. Now with my organization, Association Eris, I have a training program and the objective is that you get like your first ex experience in marine mammal research and so you can define whether or not you like to do a research. What I also recommend, because most people are always looking for travel, which is not always the most ecological thing you can do, I would recommend that you're looking around in your own town or your own country. Perhaps there is already an initiative on whale and dolphin research and as a first step, that would be, I believe, the most logical. In my, in my case, I'm from Belgium and in the North Sea there is not really like uh, an initiative uh, on whale or dolphin research. Uh, so th therefore, in my first experiences, I was more uh, focused in um, Europe. After that, I really wanted to do whale research and that's really limited. This knowledge is not that much accessible in uh, Europe, for example. 
So the fifth and last question that I often have is what do I recommend for future conservationists? This is a really tough question. What I would say is that if your passion is conservation, if your passion is to do a difference for the world and helping preserve whales and dolphins, not only fauna and flora in general, I would say do not give up because we need people like you, we need people that want to uh, preserve our beautiful nature and the world needs you. So if you are determined and you are sure about your path, then just go for it. It's possible. For me, they told me there was no space for whale research uh, for me and I created my own uh, experience and I created my own job. So at the end, where there is, there is a will, there is a Way. so just go for it thanks for watching this video do not forget to subscribe and see you in next video every Monday bye <laughs> yeah what I say I say it's the mismo oh, <laughs> Where did I study study big uh, um, gift and love <laughs> Ok, la tercera pregunta. Hey, ¿En inglés? <risa>